Good morning, I'm Andy George. It's Saturday, November 15th. I'm standing outside San Francisco City Hall. We're about to check out the latest protest in opposition to Proposition 8. Many religious people have lost the essence yeah. of their religion, and we cannot, beloved community, afford to do the same thing. We need to be our best selves. This is a movement based on love, and we must lead with love, struggle in love, and lift up the love in and among us. Why do you think Proposition 8 was able to pass? 52% voted on it. Who are these 52%? Bigots. People who, who didn't understand it was a civil rights issue and just were taken in by a lot of the lies that were presented in all the commercials and advertisements and such. What, what kind of lies were uh, thrown around? That, that um, churches student... will lose their tax exempt status uh -uh. only if they donated money because then they're being political and that's not a separation of church and state. And then the, they could lose their tax exempt status. And, and the lies were that gay marriage would be taught to children in school and that churches would be forced to perform gay marriages. And th that's no, not no, the truth. No, that's no, a complete that's lie. It's a fabrication. We're all here because we believe that agreement among people does not mean that something is right. Rosa Parks sat on the bus, and at that point there were a lot of people who agreed that black people should sit in the back of the bus. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean it's right. And we're here to say that we're not going anywhere. We're going to fight for our rights, and we're going to love who we want to love, and that's the way it's going to be. And we're not going to sit down or back down until we have that right as a human being. The genius of our constitutional democracy is that everyone gets their freedom of religion, but no one religious book creates the laws of the land. No Bible, no Torah, no Koran. The holy books of our democracy are the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and the Bill of Rights. Those are our holy books. I was raised Mormon, and the stance that the Mormon Church has taken on Prop 8 broke my heart because when I was growing up, we didn't do that. That's not the church I was raised in, and it just broke my heart. Uh, I was raised in a very loving congregation. There was no bigotry. Uh, there was no hate. Everything was about love. And then to see them take from the very top of the church's leaders take this dance all the way down was mind-boggling to me. This, this was not the way I was raised. Are there, are there other Mormons that have disagreed with the church's actions? Yes, there, there are a number of them. Some free-thinking Mormons uh, who think for themselves. Uh, the, the church teaches that everyone has their free agency, uh, the freedom to make your own decisions, and it seems to me that they've taken away this free agency from their own members by saying, you must support this, you must give your time, your money, uh, to pass Proposition 8. Justin Green, tell us about your, your what is your project today? Um, so, we just found out that the CEO of Cinemark Theaters, who owns the Century and Cine Arts and Tinseltown chains, donated $9,999 to Yes on 8. And to coincide with the release of Gus Van Sant's film Milk, uh, coming out on the 26th, we don't want people to go there to spend their money to see this great film. So uh, we put together a website, it's called nomilkforcinemark.com. You can put your zip code in and uh, find out an alternate theater to see it at, and join our Facebook group. Uh, we're trying to get a thousand people to pledge to spend their ten thousand to spend their thousand dollars elsewhere, so that we can take that ten thousand dollars back from Cinemark and maybe get this guy to resign. Okay. Uh, what do you think has kind of garnered this international interest in just a inter in one country's loss? It's it's a, because it's human basic human rights. It's a very simple. It's not about religion. It's not about anything except for equality and human rights. And everyone in the world's for that. This is Andy George standing outside San Francisco City Hall. We've talked to a lot of interesting people today and a lot of different opinions on the issue. It's been about a week since Proposition 8 passed, and people are all finding different ways to protest, and we're going to see what happens next. Thank you for your time. We will have marriage equality in California.